Hey guys, it's Natalia. Yes, I decided to change my intro, but welcome to another weekly reading vlog. So I am back from holiday. If I look a bit more tanned, that's why I'm so scared my tan's gonna go, especially on my arms because it just makes me feel so happy. But this is what the weather's like today and it's Monday. Pretty much grey outside as you can see. Very pretty weather definitely makes you want to wake up in the morning and do stuff she said sarcastically but yeah I ended up waking up really early and I've noticed whenever I go on the internet in the morning and I decide to purchase something I regret it instantly because literally I wanted to order another book for one of my friends on YouTube and I knew she was looking for a certain edition of a certain book I thought I found it but I figured out after I ordered it of Wordery that it was in the book she already had that book and now I'm trying to cancel the order and it says it can't cancel so she's gonna have two editions of the same book which is just great but I'm gonna try and figure it out hopefully it cancels if you can see there's something wrong with my eye this one is quite red on the edge and I'm literally scared I can touch my eyeball because I put contact lenses in all the time but if my eye becomes red or someone else's eye becomes red I can't look so yeah, my goal is to finish this book this week. I really want to finish three more books this month. It's the last month of June and I've only read three books this month, which is terrible. I really want to read more. So I'm nearly finished with this one. I have less than 100 pages to go, less than three chapters, I think. I'm currently on the chapter that deals with manslaughter and then there's going to be wicked women and then it's girls, girls, girls and then conclusion and I'm done which conclusion is like 10 pages so it doesn't really count so I pretty much have like three three full chapters and then I think I'm gonna finish off an evil mind or if I'm still in the mood and it's light out today I'm gonna continue with my reread of six of crows I really need to crack down and finish this reread because I've been rereading it since September and also I've been kind of having a little bit of a bookish vegan my channel dilemma I don't know I just feel like I'm not doing well on YouTube I see other people on like booktube growing so quickly and they're only like on YouTube for a year I've been here for like two years over two years and I barely have grown and I've posted so many videos and I ended up privating some of them this morning I don't know I just feel like maybe I should just give up and not do this even though I do have fun doing it it's weird. I've been in a weird mood since coming back home on Thursday. But Portugal was amazing. If you ever get the chance, go on holiday with your friends. It's so funny and so great. And I just loved it. And I miss it. And ugh. But yeah, I'm gonna go read. is quite bright in my room but guys I finished Eve was shamed by Helena Kennedy and I think I'm gonna have to give it five out of five stars I just love how the author Helena Kennedy tackled this issue because initially from like the title you'd think she would only focus on women but she also focused on ethnic minorities men and how men are also failed by the British justice so yeah it says how British justice is failing women and I just really enjoyed it I learned a lot about different cultures and what happens within those that was crazy and also it tackles like terrorism and it shows quite interesting statistics definitely not to what the news or the media portray and yeah I don't know I just really found it super fascinating I cannot wait to get to the secret barrister that I got for my birthday because that looks at also the British justice system but I think it looks at the misconceptions of it so yeah as you can see quite a lot of tabs I just really really enjoyed this I love the statistics she includes loads of research that is backed up shows the law and the British justice system 
throughout the ages so you can kind of see how some things have changed but we still have a really long way to go. She's a feminist, you can tell that and she's one of those types of feminists that I really love and appreciate because she sees that equality for women has to mean that there's also equal equality for men which I absolutely appreciate because I hate when people say feminists just want equality for women but we need equality between the sexes for there to be equality for all. So yeah I just really enjoyed this, it was so fascinating, highly recommend it if you live in Britain but if you live in another country and you want to read this like my American friends that watch me then definitely give this a go as it's a great great book. This is the newest edition of this book because I know the first edition was called Eve Was Framed and this one's Shamed and I just highly recommend it. I'm tempted to pick up the first edition but at the same time I'm like this is updated so it's kind of better to read. And yeah now I think I'm gonna watch some YouTube because I want to do some steps and then I might pick up either as I mentioned An Evil Mind or Six of Crows but we'll see. I still like my room's a mess like can you see that box behind me? I really need to put those books up for sale because I went on Music Magpie and we buy books and they literally barely gave me any money for like 20 books. So I'm going to try and sell them on eBay and on Depop. Depop's quite slow so I'm going to go for with eBay. I think you do pay a little bit more for the for actually being able to put stuff on eBay and selling it on eBay. But I'd rather pay a little bit more and get more money in the long run than like get barely any money for quite good condition books so yeah that's the plan youtube and then hopefully put some stuff up i also need to finish editing my portugal vlog it's like 21 minutes long but i've just put all the pictures and like the clips i want to include but i have to like shorten some of the clips add music add text but like looking at those pictures makes me so happy because it just brings me back to last week when i was on holiday oh it was great i love going on holidays i need to stop talking about holidays but yeah charlie always comes into my room i see you girl but yeah see you later actually Wednesday today and I thought I would quickly update you on how I'm doing with my reading. So on Monday night I ended up starting my read. So I'm reading this for the first time ever, Red Sister by Mark Lawrence. I was actually gifted this by my good friend Naveed that I know from sixth form. So I finally decided to start it. I only got to page 26, 27 and this book I decided to colour code. Yes I have ordered so many of these off of ebay i think and on the back i wrote what each color stands for so i thought i'd share with you i don't know how i'm feeling about the colors though because i also decided to go through six of crows which was my reread at the moment i did end up reading over 100 pages of this yesterday so i'm very happy about that and i think on monday i also read a little bit now actually on monday i finished eve was shamed so yeah i started this back up on tuesday and i'm really loving it my favorite scenes for sure i tab the most is about Matthew and Nina and I also find the culture in Theoda where Matthias is from so the Driscoll are from but I find it so fascinating because it's so closely connected to nature like I always highlight them and I also decided to change out my bookmarks every couple of sections I read or chapters and right now I have Matthias because I really really like him so much I love him he's my favorite male character I also love Jasper Jasper is great too Kaz isn't my favourite, like I remember when I first read this book back in 2015-16, everyone was talking about Kaz, but I'm just like, Matthias and Jesper, yes. I do like Kaz reading about him and Inej and Nina's friendship. Nina's still my favourite character, like out of all the six, and I think it's Matthias, then it's Jesper, then it's Inej, then it's Kaz, and then it's Wyland, just because 
Mine is great, but I don't really feel a connection to him. And literally before I started my reread of this, I kind of forgot about him or I forgot his name. And then, yeah, Red Sister, I'm annotating as I'm listening to it. So, yeah, not far in. I do plan on doing a book review for this one just because it's a series that I know is highly praised, but I don't feel like a lot of people on YouTube read it on BookTube. So, yeah, I did enjoy it. The only thing is I'm only, like, adding the colour next to it i'm not highlighting whereas in this one i'm just highlighting with a yellow highlighter so i'll show you like here so i highlight it and then add the color corresponding to what it stands for so yeah currently i'm using green as funny or omg moments then yellows quotes or interesting just quotes i find interesting or quotes that stand out to me and then orange is sad, angry, or just emotions in general. Pink, of course, is love. And then blue is foreshadowing, but I also made it as, like, information. So, like, interesting facts. And as you can tell, we have quite a lot of different colours. So, yeah, I'm going to try and read more of Six of Crows and maybe listen to some more of Red Sister by Four. I'll quickly update because it just came from my walk and I'm kind of wearing... Actually, going out clothes, so I thought I looked okay. And, yeah, I need to go wash my hair. So, let's do that. but I feel like I'm really really close to the camera I'm literally in front of my window on the floor and I can't move you back anymore because on the tripod I'm using right now the handle is touching the radiator but it's Friday and yesterday I ended up hanging out pretty much nearly all day with my friends like over six hours so I've only got any reading done I, I think I did read a little bit of Six of Crows but I thought today Friday would be a good reading day but I barely have done any reading I think I've read like two three chapters and I'm really enjoying it like look oh I'm so close I was supposed to finish this today but it's not gonna happen I have this section to read and then part six and i'm done but it's so good oh look how colorful this book is like it's stunning i love like highlighting i was highlighting so much where was it like here look at that whoa but yes that means this weekend i'm gonna have to focus on finishing this and that means i'm not gonna finish another book and that means i'm gonna only read five books this month that's okay i'm gonna try and up it next month because i have so much to read but yes that's it for today not a lot to update but as it's barely like nine i'm probably not gonna fall asleep because it's so light outside i think i'm gonna try and find something to watch online and then go to sleep and hopefully wake up tomorrow morning and read because we need to finish this book so i guess saturday is a very productive day so far it's 
9.33. I ended up waking up at 6.30 by myself because I was exhausted yesterday. So I think I went to bed at 10.30. And then this morning I woke up by myself. I had the blinds a little bit open. So I need to do that from now on so I can wake up early by myself without an alarm clock. I didn't even have the intention of waking up early. But yesterday, as I mentioned, I wasn't in the mood to read. But this morning, I finished this stunning book. And oh my god, it blew me away at the end. I forgot about some of the things. And I was like, oh my god. Also, look at all these tabs. Look at all these colours. I think I love colour coordinating now. Of course, I loved this. I can't wait to get to Crooked Kingdom. Even though I'm peeing myself as I think about it because I'm just so scared I'm gonna cry as much as I did last time. At this book I didn't cry or anything but <sighs> just look at all those tabs. But I now understand when I was watching like all the other people on booktube that have done how to annotate your books like how they go from five colours to seven I think or eight because it is kind of hard to just colour coordinate in five colours because there's so many you need like I did quite a lot of blue which I didn't think I would which is foreshadowing or like important information or facts and then for instance like the orange I did sad angry or emotion I would have liked angry and sad to be separate so you could kind of like see because I don't actually, I didn't use it too much. I did use quite a lot of green though for funny and OMG moments because Jesper just cracks me up and literally when I was reading like the ending, I'm not going to spoil it or anything but like just thinking of what would happen in the next book because it was all coming back to me like between Jesper and Wyland. Oh my god, I can't. Oh. It is so funny and I forgot about some of the things about Wylan and then at the end it was just like words like like look at all <laughs> this is the last two pages look how much I flip and highlighted and then I use like OMG funny because I I laugh out loud so many times during this book it was great but yeah as I said I kind of understand why people use more colors than just the ones I've used and also like I didn't use too much love and I did use kind of a lot of yellow because look at yellow it's pretty much nearly finished because you can kind of see the back I think I have like two left or something these are pretty good I think I mentioned before I will leave a link to them down below but now I just don't know if to start Crooked Kingdom or continue with the reads I'm currently reading like other books because I have so many I have already started so actually now that I've finished Six of Crows let's see how many books I have left on my currently reading because it's quite a lot and I apologize for my fringe it just looks like a mess <laughs> What a surprise, right? Five books on my current D reading, so like I can stick with six. Six isn't too bad. I used to have seven, so not too bad. But then if I continue with An Evil Mind by Chris Carter, I know I could probably finish it this weekend because I have like half of it left. And then <laughs> Crooked Kingdom is like five over 500 pages, so I could do it if I was very persistent, but I get into these weird reading moods where when I start reading I don't want to put down the book but then when I put down the book to take a little break because I need to go to the bathroom or something then when I try and pick up the book back up I can't so it's like so, so weird but can't wait to annotate Crooked Kingdom it's gonna look great <laughs> the spine's a little bit bent but I love books like these like cracked spine annotated and color coordinated just like oh I love it I love the feel and the smell and the look of used books more than new books i think tell me in the comments below if you guys are like that but yeah i'm so happy to finish this and to have such a productive start to a great weekend but i think i'm gonna start editing some videos because yesterday i filmed a what i eat in a day so should get on with that okay guys so i'm back a bit quicker than i thought but i got a package in the mail i promise I promise myself, I promise you guys, I promise my bank account that this is the last time I order candles. I just got excited when Elvin Wick Candles, which is an amazing bookish candle shop based in the UK, run by the amazing Samantha. Check her out, leave a link to her Instagram page and her shop's Instagram page down below. But when she said she's, she was going to restock one of the candles I wanted to get originally, but it went out of stock so quickly. I got so excited, so I had to order them. And and I ended up ordering I think two more candles so here's the package look how fucking cute this is oh 
So this is of the candle that I made this order for and then I had like 10% off from like her ambassadors is those what they're called I don't even know but this is the candle I have wanted for ages now so this is sisters of caravel which smells of orange fig and amber and here is Tella here is scarlet oh look at that it's beautiful and it's gonna go onto my caravel shell but yeah let's smell it because Natalia is excited oh, all these candles from this series smell so nice I wonder if she's gonna make a finale candle because I have Caravel and Legendary, but let's go put it onto the shelf. So we're gonna move my beautiful bookmark here and then put Sisters of Caravel. Oh, look at that. It's, oh, it's so stunning. I don't know how to put this, but this is what it looks like. So stunning. I just put my crystals here because I thought they would match really well. So yeah. So then the next candle. Oh my God, it has something inside, but it is Dawn Court. So I already have Autumn Court in the corner there. When I always took quizzes for the courts from the a Court of Thorns and Roses series. I got Dawn Court, but I feel like Autumn Court would be my second home if Lucien was the one that ran it because I wouldn't want to live with his brothers and father in one place. But oh my god, look at that! See, let's smell it. Oh, oh, it smells like cotton candy, lemon, and caramel. Yes, I would want to live in this court for sure. And then the last candle is this one. I just had to get it because I was eyeing it as well so it, I've always wanted a to all the boys I've loved before candle. So this is Lara Jean's letters and it smells of lemonade, watermelon and vanilla. Oh scents I love. Let's see what it looks like. It's just pink. Oh, I love the feel of these candles. Like kind of when, oh my god I can smell it. Oh, oh. It smells like bubble gum, like watermelon bubble gum that you used to get out of those slot machines. Ah, oh, it smells so nice. Oh, I love Sam and her shop. Oh, it's the best shop ever. Let me just see if I haven't missed anything out. Nope, but I found a blue as well. Beautiful candles. I know I have a candle obsession from Elvin Wick right now. As I think I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, I used to have an obsession with Book and Nook candles and now I have an obsession with Elvin Wick candles. But I am a Taurus and it says you like to smell nice and it's not a surprise that you might have loads of blankets and loads of candles. So I feel like I can blame it on my zodiac sign and also it's funny because you know usually people say sometimes they don't relate to, to their sun sign well I do because mine's a Taurus and I literally have four planets in Taurus so it's my most predominant sign that comes up in my birth chart I love studying the birth chart I've been also studying one of my friends birth charts so yeah that's it for now <laughs> This album, Happiness Begins by Jonas Brothers, is amazing. I'm in love with pretty much like every song, especially Don't Throw It Away. I love it. So sorry for the crappy lighting, but it's Sunday night. I literally was gonna start, well, I was gonna end this vlog before it started getting dark outside. It's still pretty light, but if I don't leave my lights on, it's gonna get pretty dark. But yeah, I thought I would wrap up this week. So yesterday I ended up not being in the mood to read again 
after I finished Six of Crows. Like, I tried continuing on with an evil mind. Sorry, I'm scratching my leg, it's kind of itchy. But I don't think I'm in the mood for a thriller. And that book I'm kind of not enjoying as much as all the other Chris Carter books. Just because I miss Carlos Garcia so much. So Robert Hunter's partner, like I, I like the FBI lady agent Robert is working with, I can't remember her name, but I kind of miss the old layout of, of his books. That one, well, An Evil Mind is kind of, they already accidentally caught the killer and I just, I prefer when it's on the hunt and I feel like his like reason for killing is one I don't agree with. Like all the other killings of course are terrible and like they shouldn't have happened but like those are more like revenge and i really appreciate that because it's kind of like oh i wonder what the backstory is whereas it with this one is just like the killer's interested in killing and wants to feel what it's like to be a killer and i'm just like i don't know how i feel about that but yeah i thought i would quickly show you all the books i read so i only read or finished two books but I'm really happy because one is off my TBR and the other one is a reread I was reading since September so I finished off Eve Was Shamed How the British Justice is Failing Women by Helena Kennedy which was five out of five stars tapped the hell out of it kind of tempted to reread it again but at the same time it might make me tear up because I did tear up a couple of times when I was reading this and then the reread I finished is Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo which I gave five out of five stars stars absolutely loved it, as you can tell from the tabs and this is the first book I ever color coordinated so that's great and then today because I wasn't in the mood to read anything on my stack next to my bed or like continue with Red Sister oh yeah I should mention I also started Red Sister on Monday I only got to chapter 5 page 54 so not far at all but I'm also color coordinating color tabbing it color coordinating it i don't know what i'm saying but you know what i mean and then the one i started today to read physically is the caged queen by Kristen sicarelli this is the companion novel to the last namsara i'm only 25 pages in chapter three not far at all i decided to color coordinate as well or color code it and i'm also using this bookmark which came in the box that I got the last name star of the fairy loot. So that's pretty cool. I'm not like 100% sold on it yet because I don't really like Ro, who we follow in this one. I didn't like her in the first book. And I've seen mixed reviews for this one, so we'll see. And I also don't understand the sacrifice she did. Like, to me, if you're making yourself unhappy to sacrifice for the greater good, it's not good because your happiness matters too. And I didn't know Dax was such a uh, like weird guy that sleeps around with everyone like I didn't I forgot about that I feel like I forgot a lot but I just want to see Escher again and the guy I can't remember his name but yeah that's it for this weekly reading vlog I count it as success so that means in total for the whole month I read five books which is just great. I'm probably going to film my wrap up tomorrow. See that's exciting. Or maybe on Tuesday. Or maybe on Wednesday. No I need to film it tomorrow. So yeah that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did give the video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new as I post mostly bookish and lifestyle videos. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.